Okay, it's time to retire. Should I move to South Carolina? I get that question all the time too. If you are interested, please stay tuned because we're going to do a deep dive in whether you should move to South Carolina when you're retired. So to begin with, if you retire to South Carolina, you could be sitting in a chair just like me in a beautiful spot just like me. I mean, is that not pretty behind me or not? Just gorgeous. All right, let's start off with number one question on everybody's mind, taxes, taxes. Um, everybody wonders about taxes. No, we're not Florida where we don't have a state income tax. That's not us, but we do have uh, state income tax and the top rate is six and a half percent. Okay uh, We have two counties in uh, The low country that we sell real estate in Buford County and Jasper County Buford County really entails uh, Buford uh, Hilton Head Bluffton Okatee pretty large area Jasper County, which is up and coming because it's got Latitude Margaritaville and it has several new neighborhoods and the uh, uh, sales tax there is 9%. In Bluffton, it is 7%. So a little bit higher tax rate. The uh, county is growing like crazy. We have, if you're searching taxes for South Carolina, and I bet you are, you know that we have a 4% rate and we have a 6% rate on real estate. If you're using the home as a second home, they're going to tax you at 6%. And if you're living here in your primary home, it's going to be 4%. 6% doesn't sound like much, 4 to 6, but they shove all of the school taxes into the 6%. So it's quite a bit higher, okay? And um, People also, it's confusing. 4% uh, times the sales tax? Is that, are the sales price, is that what it is? 6%? No, it's a complicated millage rate system that you, you can easily go on the Buford County uh, uh, website and determine what people are paying for different homes. You can do that, you can calculate it out. I typically tell people if you're in Buford County and uh, it's your primary home, it's going to be about 1% maybe of the sales price to one and a half, maybe that high. They assess properties every five years and 2023 is the assessment year. Well, okay, what is it if it's a second home? It's not double, but it's close. Okay, it's it's nearly double because you've got that you're you're being taxed at that six percent times the millage rate and the the price of the house. So, um, but it's a deal, especially if you're going to live in Buford County as your primary home. Taxes, it's not much. It's a very rural state, and uh, the taxes are very low. We do have a personal property tax. They're going to tax your car. Okay, I've lived in other states where they've done that, so it's a popular thing. If you have a nice car, it's going to be anywhere between $300 for the year or $800 for the year. I mean, there's Maseratis driving around town, so, you know, they're going to have a higher uh, personal property tax. So you've got that. Um, you can deduct up to $15,000 in your retirement income, and they don't tax your uh, Social Security benefits and uh, pensions down here in South Carolina, which is nice. You can have free education as long as you're 60 years old and older and it's a state-funded institution. You can take classes for free. You're going to have to register. We have uh, all kinds of community colleges and schools around here. So I think that's a real plus. A lot of people uh, love the education part of it. Healthcare, everybody's concerned. See, am I hitting the buttons here? Taxes, healthcare, all this kind of stuff. Healthcare, uh, I recently made a video on the healthcare, my healthcare situation, and there are a lot of really good doctors in, uh, in South Carolina, and they choose to live here. 
Um, I had some surgery at MUSC in Charleston, and boy, the surgeon was fantastic. Um, you can watch my video and learn all about the gruesome details. But anyway, they have a lot of doctors around, so uh, good health care. Um, over 40 state parks all over the area. I just recently completed a video with Ethan James in our Buford office, and he told me the state park over in Buford is number one in the whole state. So it's a big deal, state parks. Over 350 golf courses, which is fantastic. I'm a golfer, so it's great. It's for nature lovers. I mean, I walked out of the golf shop the other day and I was walking just right out of it. And from here to the camera, which is more than five feet, a hawk dives down and gets this bird right in front of me. It's unbelievable. You see great blue herons flying over the uh, uh, lagoons like the one behind me. Uh, the egrets, I mean, it's fantastic, the nature, just fantastic. Um, Southern hospitality, it's down here. They call me Mr. John. They call me other things too, but Mr. John, my, I call my wife Miss Lynn. So it's catchy. The Southern hospitality is fantastic. And Southern cuisine is amazing. I mean, fried chicken and collards, can you beat that? I'm kidding, but the southern cuisine down here is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we're in shrimp territory and seafood and, and collard greens and everything else, but it's really, really good. Uh, mild weather, super mild. You have the touch of the seasons. My daughter lives in the Greenville area, and I'm shocked at the difference of climate uh, up in Greenville to where we are down here in uh, Bluffton. It's unbelievable. It's, sometimes it's as much as 10 degrees difference. Um, in the state of South Carolina, they've divided it out into four sections. Low country, and we know why it's low, because it's low, okay? Low is the operative word. The Midlands, okay, and that is obviously the middle of the state, like Columbia is in the Midlands. The uplands, which is really cool because you're at the base of the mountains up near uh, Asheville, um, you know, Greenville. If you haven't been to Greenville, it's just fantastic. So uh, that whole area is the uplands in the, get this, PD area. And that's over where Myrtle Beach is, and that's named after um, an Indian tribe and a, a river, very well-known river, runs through there. Those are the four sections. Uh, obviously, I'm hoping you come down to the low country and look for retirement. Uh, property is a great place to live, but South Carolina offers a lot. There's a lot of really big companies that are in South Carolina now. Um, you know, BMW, Boeing, um, uh, several big companies like that are in South Carolina. And it's a growing, growing area. So uh, I think the combination of all those things make for it an ideal place to retire. So you're retired. Should I move to South Carolina by listening to this video? I think the answer is yes. At least come down and check it out. If you're looking uh, at other areas, put this on your short list. And please subscribe to the channel. If you like this content, I put a video out every week on the lifestyle and the culture of real estate in the low country, South Carolina. And I am an associate broker with Charter One Realty. I have a team that will take care of you. Come see us, retire in the low country. Cut.